What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, J-Main, back, checking in with the people, back with another video. Now, this shouldn't be a long video. We're going to make this nice, quick, simple, and easy. Marvel Spider-Man 2 has been officially confirmed to be launching in fall of 2023. Yes, now, we kind of already knew that this game was going to be coming out in 2023, but ever since they revealed it at the PlayStation Showcase in 2021, They've been very quiet. I mean, we haven't seen a goddamn thing about this game since 2021. And this was pretty much the first big news that we heard. Uh, they are confirming that it's coming out in fall of 2023 and doubling down that this is going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Thank God we can finally move on from that PlayStation 4 and start taking advantage of the power of the PS5 and getting these true next generation exclusives because for a minute now, they was getting me worried. Like, I know they already came out and said Spider-Man 2 was gonna be a PS5 exclusive, but the way they was doubling down on PS4 and coming back and Gran Turismo was originally a PS5 game and then it came back, it was a PS4 game, God of War announced, like, it was so much cross-generation games for the first few years of the PS5 that I wasn't sure when the hell this was going to end. So they came out today, PlayStation did, with a statement, kind of talking about some of the highlights of 2023 going into the new year. And then Insomniac also added in a statement about the launch of Marvel Spider-Man 2 coming in 2023 during the fall. No concrete release date, but more like a release window. So let's let's get into the article. Let's read it. Um, as you can see there, PlayStation in 2023. Highlights is the name of this article. Um, here are some of the biggest highlights for PlayStation in 2023, including Marvel Spider-Man 2 releasing in the fall. Uh, the year's end is over the horizon, which means 2023 is about to begin. While 2022 has gone out with a good-sized bang, thanks to God of War Ragnarok, game of the year, uh, that doesn't mean 2023 has nothing in store. The coming year is huge for PlayStation Stack with the lineup of exciting releases. Whether you've been looking forward to the release of the ultra-customizable DualSense Edge controller, I have not. I won't be picking that up. I'm good. Uh, virtual reality adventures with the PlayStation VR 2, that... I can't wait and make sure y'all stay tuned to this YouTube channel because I will be posting up PSVR 2 content. Uh, fantastical new IPs like Forspoken or sequels to iconic titles like Marvel Spider-Man 2. This year has something for you. Uh, while there's a ton of while there's a ton coming to PlayStation in 2023, this article aims to highlight a handful of the biggest things announced for 2023. Uh, this is the reveal trailer. We have already seen that. Like I said earlier in the video, they haven't said nothing about this game since 2021. Um, so I'm hoping that we got a new trailer coming soon or uh, some gameplay footage, something like I just need to see some type of some content from this game on what, uh, you know, more about what this game is going to be about, because this is easily one of my most anticipated games of 2023. And um, yeah, I would love actually a PlayStation showcase in general, because First party wise, it's actually kind of, it's kind of a little mediocre so far for what they've announced. I mean, we got Spider-Man 2 that's been confirmed. Um, we got Horizon, the expansion with the Forbidden West Burning Shores. We got Call of Mountain uh, for the PlayStation VR 2. We got VR 2 in general, but I feel like they still need like two more big games for the year uh, to satisfy some of the first party, uh, needs for me personally, if we can get factions two next year, that'll be huge. And one other big game, I don't know what it could be. Blue point seems like they've been teasing something on the timeline with their holiday card. Like they, uh, they had this holiday card where, um, it was like presents under the tree and three of the four presents were open. It looked like it was items from previous games that they worked on, but one of the presents was not open. And so maybe they're hinting at something to reveal in 2023. They haven't released nothing since 2020. So maybe we can look forward to something from them in 2023. So I don't know. Maybe uh, we get something from them. But just one other big game, I think. And then PlayStation has a bunch of third-party exclusives next year. So while I think PlayStation overall is going to be great for 2023, first-party-wise, um, I feel like we, we need to see more. And even the future of, of PlayStation first-party-wise. I think it's kind of it's kind of quiet on that front as well. 
Um, but yeah, getting into Spider-Man 2, it says, speaking of Marvel Spider-Man 2, let's kick things off with some exciting news from developer Insomniac Games confirming the release window for the web slinging sequel, Marvel Spider-Man 2 launches on PlayStation 5 in 2023. Following the events of Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, the spider duo of Peter Parker and Miles Morales are back in the next blockbuster action chapter of the Marvel Spider-Man series. A lot of fucking Marvel Spider-Man. Uh, much is still to be revealed about the game and going off the quality of the past two titles were bound to be in for a fantastic new original Spider-Man adventure. Uh, read on for a special message from Insomniac. Um, here we go. What a gear it's been for PlayStation Studios here at Insomniac Games. We've been in absolute awe of the work our peer, of our peers. Congrats to everyone on a successful 2022. And here's to next year being just as exciting as we continue to get Marvel Spider-Man 2 ready for release next fall. Now, um, that was pretty much their statement. Creative director, uh, Brian over there. So listen, I'm super excited about Spider-Man 2. I'm hoping that they can... Uh, Take this game to the next level. Um, I was talking to Kofi on the Good Gaming Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all go check out the latest episode we dropped on his channel, uh, Good Game Kofi. Uh, definitely was a great show. But we were talking over there about, you know, some of the things we want to see in the new Spider-Man game. And we got to talking about them taking this game to the next level. Um, I thought the first games, Miles Morales and then the 2018 Spider-Man were great. But I felt like the side missions and the side activities really lacked um i thought the main missions were great the story were great in each game but uh i feel like they could do much better with the side activities and the side missions as well as um kind of doing more with the combat like i don't want this game to feel so familiar i was like one of my uh, critiques of god of war ragnarok is that the combat kind of felt familiar like if you played the 2018 game you came into this game they added uh, some new additions but Overall, you felt like you were very familiar with everything that's going on. And I know it's a sequel, but I think they can still do more, even though it is a sequel, with making it feel fresh as well as familiar at the same time. Um, being in Manhattan or the city, the scale, uh, are they going to keep it in Manhattan? I know there's a lot of tall buildings, so that goes into the web swinging, but maybe add some more girls to this game. Uh, you know, broaden it up uh, to, to, to more areas in New York City, and, uh, you know, to, to, to make it feel more grand and things like that. Some of the stealth elements I thought could have been better in the first two games. So, you know, some things that, uh, you know, I feel like they could do better. And I, I got faith in Insomniac because I think they're a great developer. So I'm hoping that they take it to the next level as PS5 exclusive. So let's use the power of the system and take this game to the next level. I can't wait to play it. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Spider-Man coming out fall 2022. Do you think it'll hit the mark? Do you think it might get delayed to 2024? When do you also expect to see some gameplay from this game? Like I said, they revealed it in 2021. We haven't seen anything since. So hopefully we see that sooner rather than later. But of course, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch y'all on my next one. Peace.